Boys and girls, welcome to August's Raiding League. And today we have two amazing casters for you. We have the old, very used to the Raiding League now, the great French himself, Sa Majesty. And as a special guest, uh, has been doing a lot of work in the back end. And today coming to the front, to add some positive energy, we have also Rocka. What's up, guys? Uh, so I'm going to let those two guys talk because they are the best casters we know. And I mean, of course, um, we also have uh, the organizer of the entire thing uh, himself right here with us, right? Zo. Um, if you don't know Zo, friends, uh, you should join the Raiding League Discord, right? Um, <laughs> you won't be able to avoid uh, Zo there. Send me DMs, I appreciate it. <laughs> he loves his DMs. We haven't seen his face yet, but he is the one hidden behind the entire organization. So give it up for Zer. Whom for, we wouldn't um, be able to do this without. For Sa Majesty's 1,000 subscribers, I'll, uh, I'll do a face reveal. Oh. oh, there you go. There you go. Big face reveal, <laughs> guys. Guys, uh, press the subscribe button, yeah? Yes. I, I've, yes. Heard, I've heard of something like, I think it's called um, Twitch Prime, and you can sub okay. for free. It's, uh, it's actually That's insane. insane. That's insane value. It's actually yeah. called Prime Gaming now. I'll have to educate you about that. Right? Oh, fuck. Prime it's Gaming. No longer Twitch Prime. It's, uh, it's gotten rebranded. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, so as you may see, if you've been on Reddit today, if you've been on social media or on the Discord server, you probably have heard of, uh, you, you've seen us ping you guys with a Reddit post today, okay? We've posted on Reddit the big announcement, guys, that we were planning to make today. It's finally live. I've put tremendous amounts of work into this. Tareem is in chat. Huge credit to Tareem. Tareem has been using, um, putting a lot of work into this. Zoe has been putting a lot of work into this. Everybody has been putting a lot of work into this. And I'm, of course, talking about the new official Raiding Leak website. That's right. Guild Wars 2 Raiding League, now actually on the internet too, right? How, what do you guys think about that? So how do you think it turned out? Uh, first, I think it's awesome. Like, I've never thought when uh, we, we were talking about the website, I didn't think it would happen anytime soon. But guys, it's happening. We have a fully set website and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be improved on and it's going to become incredible. It's it's great. Hell yeah, it's awesome. And I mean, there are, of course there are a few uh, there are a few uh, issues that always happens when you launch a site, right? Especially when you do it to like a community this large. When you have when you like you launch a site and you get like maybe hundreds of people on it right away. You know, mistakes can happen. This is a fan made project, right? This isn't a uh, this isn't a some big you know uh, company that's behind it that made this site. This is all free time after work that we put into this so you know stuff may stuff goes stuff happens right you know you'll have you'll have crashes when you launch you'll, that, that shit is to be expected so don't get uh, too caught up on that we'll of course uh, monitor everything we'll work on all the issues we've already fixed a lot of issues today um and we will of course do so in the next week i'm fully aware that more issues will come up the next week that we will fix uh, and that's and that's all there is to it right Issues yep. will emerge, and they shall be fixed. Um, and um, also, one of the big problems was, just imagine if you're releasing a website and suddenly your, your main admin is trying to, to fill in half of the website on the same day, right? That would be, that would be insane. But yeah, we, had, I mean, we did have to prepare some stuff just today, right? There is some stuff. And I mean, I'm actually ready to show um, the viewers what we have been working on to maybe give the, a, a quick tour of the site so that you guys maybe understand what kind of short term things we may have been working on today. So how about we just like jump to the homepage real quick and, and maybe, you know, just go uh, for like a quick little tour right to the site, show everybody what they're dealing with, show everybody what to how to navigate, right, what they can expect off the site. Sure, I will do that, but that means I have to open another tab of this amazing website as I was on 2D backend just now, my dear Rocker. So if you want to, to walk them through everything, oh, actually I am still on the backend, I, I fear, am I? am I? Am I not? 
Nah, it should be fine though. That's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you're you're logged in clearly, right? But it's, it's let let let's just go. We're on the main page, guys. Of course, everybody knows the main page, right? You know, this is where you land when you type in the URL. It's not. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? And as you scroll down on that side, you can see that we have, of course, just a little bit of text. This is our intro site. But what I do want to direct your attention to a little bit is if you scroll down a little bit below the initial panel showcasing the gold, silver league and off-season events uh, sites. If you go down below that a little bit, besides all of the info points, there's actually a nice little section that shows you our current price pool and also a button that you can use to um, to join the league. And that will actually bring up a little, um, you know, a little, I mean, people know this, uh, most sites have this with some kind of sign up form, right? Basically, guys, if you want to join the league, there's now a very easy way. You no longer have to go through Discord. You don't have to find out who the people in charge are. Just go to the website, click Join the League, and a form will open. And if you fill that out, that will be directly sent to um, to Zoe, who is, of course, in charge of um, the recruitment and of all the leagues signing up. Yeah. And and that's pretty much it, right? That's, a, um, that's all you have to do now. It's, it's very simple. And if you scroll even just a tiny tad further below, uh, there's one thing that I absolutely that I absolutely want to uh, point out, right? And that is, um, yeah, parallax effect. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I'm so <laughs> Anyways, um, high quality is... work, <laughs> dude. You know, as a, like in web design, sometimes you just have to stop yourself from just filling the entire site with parallax effects of, and having like too many moving things. I'm a bit That's disappointed. Something I always though. deal with. I wanted uh -huh. everything. I wanted every single uh, little icon there to just move around you know but uh, it's not it's not good it's not good you have to have to uh, you know have to uh, restrict yourself there anyways there's the helping the league section guys and that is of course um a begging that's what we're doing right we're begging the community guys to send us all of your money because this is a community funded project uh, and as such uh, most of this is actually coming out of those pockets all the time, right? So you actually you put tremendous amounts of gold into this to keep have, the price pulls up, and um, well, I have, of course, um, I I have approximately half of my money dumped in it, and I'm gonna run out next month probably. So there you go. It's there always go. very welcome. Start the Claps and chat. Claps and chat for Zoe maybe at this point, okay? Um, Actually, yeah, we should ask for donations more often, and probably also. Um, on streams I've I've heard league. some. I've heard of a rumor. Um, oh. I've heard I've heard a rumor about ArenaNet that maybe Indeed. maybe in the future there would be there would be something, right? Maybe you can talk yeah. about it a Actually, little bit. Definitely, I'm gonna do that. So actually, being an Anet partner, I asked them if it would be possible to get a form of sponsorship for the tournament. Of course, this is still in the talk, so I cannot tell you how much or how often, but the general idea in the, in the deal would be to have some sort of extra pricing available uh, every third league tournament, so for the end of each um, quarter. Of course, it would not be something too huge, but it would be a very good way to reward the guilds participating. And uh, it would also allow us to maybe garner a little bit more attention onto the project and a little bit more enthusiasm from the player base uh, so that they would get involved as players into the league. Uh, yeah, also, because I mean, everyone knows you're, doing, you're not doing it for the money, but secretly, yeah, we, we know. We, we mean, know. None it's of fine. us is doing this for the money, to be fair. I am Let's just make sense. To... No. If you run a competition yeah, bots, and you have, bots, and you have <laughs> prices, you're going to get more players in, right? And that's the goal. We want to get more players in. We want to make, we, we want to grow the scene, okay? We want to grow the rating scene. And in order to do that, we, quite frankly, we need some sort of encouragement for people to, you know, a Teapot likes to call it the little carrot, I think, right? Um, to just, you know, give people that little push to go out of their comfort zone and, and, and give it a try, right? And, and of course, it's so important to get these donations for this. So uh, you find all the information right there, right? You, Zoe, you've made a very convenient character name um, actually, so people can actually, find you. Yes. And I, I just actually received a donation. Thank you, a Wonder Woman, for the 50 gold. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so as I was saying, it would also be a good idea if you if you want to help out the league to advertise uh, the event 
into your own streams if you're streamers, uh, because now that there is a website, there is a Twitter account as well, you have opportunities to showcase this uh, initiative outside of the uh, reveal streams or the uh, boss picking streams. You know, like you can just do it outside of the boundaries that we have created so far. Try to expand the, the raiding league into other places. Uh, and there is a, a, this is a no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, no, that was completely all right. I also wanted to add that uh, another form of reward for the players taking part into this would be uh, a form of recognition, because on top of getting extra prize pool from Arnonet, we're also in the talks uh, about having the stream be directly done onto the Guild Wars 2 channel on Twitch. Oh, no, leaks. Uh, we, we are leaking. <laughs> We oh, are no. thing, yes. I am oh, no. trying to get it done. Leaks. <laughs> I think I think we we need to have it. We need to have a talk, Sam. Some I think I think it's time to talk. No. Um stream's over, guys. Thank you for coming. We're, we're gonna how, sort it off. Oh no, how could we leak this valuable information to the viewers? That is insane. Oh. It is and called just... no no guys, there is a major difference between a leak and a major teaser. Right now, we're teasing, okay? <laughs> no, no. I can... this and we need tease. I'm just leaving, dude. I'm just leaving. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, like, this is, it, this it is, is happening, cool. guys. There are, this is in the talks, right? Yeah. Like, So if you want to help us out, if you want to make this a reality, it is a very good idea to start advertising it elsewhere. You know, not don't randomly put it into some other streamer's chat. But if you're a streamer, if you want to grow the opportunity, if, if you want to make this bigger, it is good to talk about it. Because the more attention, positive attention, of course, it gets, the better our chances are to actually get recognition from Arnanet to make this into an actual event, a recurring one for the player base. So that's and you know what? The rating scene is not as good as it was before. And this initiative is going to make it great. So help us out. The We're nations. saving the Guild Wars 2 raid scene, right? Pretty much. <laughs> um, and I, I'm going to leak one more thing, actually. I'm going to leak one more oh little thing. God. That is, oh, that is that we're only two announcements into the stream, but there's actually a third one. But wait, there's, going there's to be, more. There's going to be a third announcement at the end of the stream. But I believe I believe it's at the end of the stream. So I, I, I think this one is have, the, uh, I see. Yeah. We, well, we can't I'm, leak that I'm one too wondering early, what it is. I'm we can't leak that one too early. It's way too good to be leaked so early, dude. We've got to we've got to keep that one all the way to the end. All right, do the full all clickbait right. thing. All then, right. then I think we should probably get started. So um, we're gonna have some rare case of blue balls in chat. I was actually going to say, I think this is a nice segue to maybe quickly show off um, the community side here, right? Because we've been talking about uh, donors and about donations. And um, one thing that we really wanted to do with this page, this is, of course, on the one hand, this page is advertisement for the league, but we've also wanted to showcase people. We've wanted to give people a platform to be showcased. All right. And um, one of those things is to, of course, give credit to our donors. Right. So what happens if you're a donor? Will people just ignore you? Teapot gave you that epic outro video. What are we going to do? Well, if you go to our community page and if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we've made a site to showcase and uh, basically credit everybody who's had their hands in the site. OK, everybody who is who is involved. OK, we have uh, broadcasters here. We have content creators who are interested in the project um, and who are who, who we are talking to. Right. And who are uh, actively in business with now. Right. And of course, um, the donors play a huge role and um, everybody who donates um will be featured on the site just scroll down a little bit more and you'll get down to a uh donors section and of course you, you can see everybody every streamer who who is uh in on this right has their uh, socials link go follow them guys go follow subscribe everything blah blah right but then of course um okay we have community websites as well again okay, because we are obviously if we're asking people to raid we want to show and you guys where to get your raid builds sp right speaking so of speaking of which we are going to actually expand on this there's i've been in talks with a couple of other very well-known guilds and communities that we are going to be showcasing in the future so um we we are going to be expanding ladies and gentlemen I thought I thought there's like a really big I don't know it must be some meme guild for some streamers that are working on so 
I don't know. Dude. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you've heard, but uh, mm, maybe maybe we should uh, yeah, talk yeah, about we'll, it later. Yeah, we'll we'll just tease at that, right? But we are being we are being uh, we are working to further. We are constantly working on furthering um, the connections we have, making this community bigger, right? That's um, that's a big issue to us. And here you see, these are our donors. Of course, if you're in the top three, you'll get some special mention. Okay, you'll get that. You can earn yourself that golden commander sign, all right? That silver commander sign if you if you donate. And there you see it, right? Everybody everybody will get mentioned. Even if you just send, I, I know people will do this. People have always done this. Even yeah, if you yeah, send yeah. in a freaking potato, okay? Uh, That's right. We will you will get mentioned and you will get the credit you deserve okay because just a little just a little note though if you have sent the donations in the last hour it's not going to be updated but i'll be updating it right after the stream yeah so exactly uh, shout out to uh, the two person that have sent me some gold right now i'll be updating everything just right after very Thank cool you very much very epic guys uh, and we'll also, I mean, you've, you've seen it maybe earlier, there will be panels on the site that we will regularly update so that people can always keep track of how much money is in the price pool for this month. And then we'll basically be like on a month by month basis. Yep. And uh, yeah, there you go. These are the helpers of the site. Uh, the admin team, of course, Zoe at the very top, the admin with all the responsibilities, right? We have Calador, the one who actually founded this project, even though he has now taken a bit of a step back. Um, and allow others to do a little bit more in his stead. We have Evocron, who's been helping a lot with the site and who's doing all the, the drawing streams. You may know him from that. Uh, Tareem, who has done a tremendous amount of coding on this work, most of the custom code that the site does. Um, Tareem did. He's doing the, the hosting issues, you know, all the technical stuff. Um, uh, Tareem, absolute massive mad lad, dude. Um, That's incredible. Wouldn't have happened without him. Then there's some, I don't know, I think somebody misspelled Roy, but really you want to probably uh, I give think I think I can Roy. talk a little bit about this um, name. Um, and incredible work from Roka. Like the whole site, front end is thanks to Roka. Absolutely fantastic. Um, high energy, lots of projects. It's it's insane. It's insane. Thank you to oh, thank Jeremy you, Roka for the site. No, it's really, it's no issue. There's no issue at all. I just did some, I just did some front end stuff really. Uh, and of course, we have Jariah, who wrote all of the text for this, because I can't write for the love of God, right? So uh, Jariah, who's actually filled the site with content, that's uh, absolutely amazing. It's, it's crazy good how this all came together. I'm really happy about it. Um, but anyway, just re I really just wanted to throw out there, guys, everybody who's involved with this, everybody who is streaming about this event, if you're a streamer and you aren't involved yet and you want to get involved, you hit me up, you get your own panel on that site, okay? You join us, we're a big community project, we're always looking to expand. Hit us up, uh, you can get in on this. You can become a helper, you can become a donator, you can become part of the community that we're working to grow, right? Um, yeah, and, and there we go. I think that's really, that's really all about the community page for now. Um, uh, be careful, Sam. Your you cannot change your your window on Discord because you're causing a little bit of a yeah, true. I a problem. I actually change my window on Discord. Yes, you are. Yeah, correct, some, Please, please stop just, looking. Yeah, actually, leaking my DMs. This is not. Please, good please at all. stop, stop looking. This is a uh, personal DMs. These are my very uh, secret DMs. Oh my god! I, I thought you just wanted to hide my face from stream. <laughs> Actually, it was. We, we it was accidentally Lin... leaked Roka's face. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, it was just Lynn telling me that there was some echo. I, I'm i not quite sure how because this is a regular Discord call. Still, I have no way. I have no idea how to change it. So, if it's uh, can, too can somebody, bad, we'll roll with it. Can somebody tell me, has the site crashed again? Are we still live, guys? Is, is the site still it. working? Yeah? We all, all good yet? It. Oh, look at this. We we fix that so quickly, so quickly. Tarim Tarim's a Tarim's a real gamer. Yeah, uh, he is a he is a gamer. Jesus, of course. <laughs> okay, people telling me about Echo were people who were watching us into an actual watch party. Everything is good, guys. There is no Echo. The stream is perfect. Jesus, I got baited. Oh, <laughs> I got <painted>. oh Nice. <laughs> See, Wait, we're being watched on other streams. Yeah, but that's the reason why we Say have more other streamers, people guys. involved in this. Cause see, I get baited. I am a, a like Z tier streamer, and we need more people involved. So 
help me out today, help us out today, replace me. No, just kidding. Um, anyway, oh, you're doing a great job, Sam. Yeah, you're doing a great I'm, uh, job. I'm just, I'm just trying. And you're, to... and you're French, so it's great. It's just yeah, awesome. I mean, we need, we need to keep the uh, the German to French uh, parity in the organization. <laughs> you know, like that's historically important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I have to criticize right. about you today, Sam, is that you're not wearing your apron, and that is... Oh, that is, that is I actually, that okay, okay, jokes aside, okay. it was my birthday a week ago, and I got gifted another apron. Even my parents are onto this. It's horrible. <laughs> have they seen... Have your parents seen the streams, Sam? Have your parents seen the streams? Sadly, yes. Yeah. Do they oh. watch it live sometimes <laughs> as well? <laughs> It's all good. Someday I want to visit your family and have a long talk with your parents about you. <laughs> Just, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah he, does do the, he does do the nude apron thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People love it. He actually does. He actually does. All right. Oh, Boys God. and girls, we're actually going to go and get started on the POVs of this month. Uh, thank you one, so... again to everyone that's been involved in the website. Uh, we, that couldn't have happened without you. Thank you, Terry Mendroca. Can I quickly, before you, before you jump there, can you just quickly go back to that tab and just show people where they will be able to find it um, once we're done with this? Sam, I believe you're leaking sometimes. Uh, By that the way. is possible. No, it, actually, it's fine. We it's have fine. already leaked rank three. Yeah, yeah, already leaked, one. like, who is number three? That's, because there is there is no way to like hide it better unless I'm scrolling yeah, all right, down same, to the same, website, same. which is kind of weird. Anyways, the monthly results are located on the top bar of the website, and so far we only have the July rating league available, as the August one is being revealed on this very stream, and will be made available shortly after on this same page. Yeah, and yeah, as you can see, it's still pretty empty. This is, of course, because we do one new site every every month. Every month we'll get their own custom site uh, where we'll showcase the winners. Everybody will get their own section again, and these will always uh, these will automatically update as we add them to the monthly results page. So if you want to look up old month's results, of course, again, we only have July and August for now, and August isn't live yet because hey, spoilers. Um, you can just go to the results page, and you can find all of the past. Uh, events there since we have made the site, right? And that's all I wanted to say. So jump into the jump into the results. All jump right, in. then right back we go into the actual result page for this time around. As we said before, we have already leaked the uh, third rank into the Silver League, uh, which is the guild will raid for food. And before that, I think we should give a shout out to everybody who participated. So the other five leagues, uh, five guilds in the Silver League, uh, because this event is all about the people who join it. So far, we have talked about the people organizing the website, the people organizing the league, everybody who was involved into the project. But at the end of the day, it boils down to who is going to participate as players. So I think it would be a very fair move to thank all the guilds who have participated both in all of the events leading up to now and in the August Raiding League as well, which we're going to now reveal now. So And we are going to be starting from the bottom. Actually, we're not going to start at rank 3, we're just going to start with the number 8. And as you can see, it's already shown on stream, but we're going to actually show some of the POVs for those teams because, well, Mossad is a quick boss, so we can actually afford to showcase all of the kills that have participated as, well, it's it's Mossad, it's high energy content, and you guys are going to love it. Oh, I can't wait to finally watch 15 POVs of Mossad. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Don't say this, Rick. I mean, there is a very satisfying feeling to watching an actual in-game punching ball being destroyed oh. by teams. Watching a health bar. There's so... nothing better than watching a health bar man. That's short, right? All right. So I guess we can we can actually have a look at the number eight, and then maybe watch okay. six four and upwards. So that. Hey guys, before we start, one, I, I wanted to one. say to chat, okay, I want to see claps in chat, okay. Whenever people submit a kill, especially these silver teams, it's just such. <laughs> Big fucking respect to these teams for stepping out of their comfort zones and going into like a competitive 
environment, you know, I think that's just really amazing. I just, I love to see it, dude. I really love to see it, okay? These silver teams have got my utmost respect. Um, keep it up, guys. I love it. Absolutely amazing. I didn't even know there were so many raiders left in the game, okay? Like, when I was going back on the LFG like a week ago, I saw like one or two LFGs, and I was like, dude, are there even raiders left in the game? And I come to the raiding league, and I see what? Ten submissions in just Silver League? That's insane. That's awesome. Yeah. I, you know, I did all these panels on the side, and I was just astonished by how many teams have actually like gotten up and made made runs like this. So I absolutely love to see it. Claps and chat. I want to see fucking claps and chat. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Also, I, I just wanted to add, uh, as for the, the website in itself, you can always check out the kill logs as well as one POV, at least, for every team that submitted a kill, uh, which is like two types of very interesting information because you can't always grasp everything from a POV. The logs are very important if you want to try this as well to maybe, I don't know, copy a comp and try it out with your own guild. You can always check it out into the kill logs. All the information is available. Directly. Every POV that you guys submit to us will be featured on the site. We will feature Absolutely. every single POV. So if you want to get started as a big speedrun YouTuber, this is where you this is where you start. All right. Or like just as Aaron had stated as an achievement in the game, no one left behind. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go get, with that POV. Let's get let's get first POV and goes. Goes. I'm excited to see what these I'm teams excited have done. as well. Like okay, we're at 1080p. Cool, let's go. <laughs> So the number, number 8 is Boss Needs Ice, Physic and Echo, which uh, is a team that did most out of us here in 1 minute and 40 seconds. And I agree. Oh, the music is deleting me. I'll need to lower the volume of that. There we go, we see um, challenge mode being activated. And what, what kind of group combo are we dealing with here? We see a lot of hollow smiths, two chronos, and, and a, a bit of a um, different setup than maybe what we're used to usually, right? Only one soul base, I think that one sticks out the most, the only one soul base run. That's where we see a big difference to a lot of other runs, but... Um, and of yeah. course, Holosmith is so strong right now, right? Such a strong bursty DPS class at the moment. So I'm absolutely, I'm not even, I mean, I'm, I guess, I guess we'll see other classes more, but it's not a really super surprising pick, I'd say. To see some hollow smiths here. Yeah. We're great burst. It's not, it's not the best best class as in uh, sustained DPS burst. The burst is actually quite nice and the vulnerability that puts allow you to run without other tools like you can free uh, a slot from your soul beast and not take storm spirit for instance. Pretty good. Pretty good class. Yeah. Yep. And there's always here more less than a DPS class, probably more as like a you know, a class to, to replace through it with because, of course, all healers were forbidden in this competition. You were not allowed to bring a single healer that had any healing power equipped. Um, so, of good. course, you bring the Soul Beast because you still want those Spirit buffs, you still want those offensive... And you can get the spring, like the Healing Spring Trap, which is also a great way of putting regeneration onto your team, some extra healing, which is kind of what you're looking into in order to survive the residual damage into this encounter. And of course, from like the speedrun perspective of this boss, right, is that the big pressure comes in when these um, when these um, um, statues oh, manage to reach the other side, right? You see it here, yeah, right? We have we actually have two down states happening, uh, three down states, but a, a, a nice little recovery there. Um, and of course, if you go for like the big boy speedrun on this boss, um, the aim is to do it before the statues arrive. If you manage to kill it before the statues come to you, you can actually you actually immediately require a lot less healing, right? I'm going to assume that other groups maybe even have, have maybe, I don't know, I actually don't know what the results are, right? That um, maybe people will have aimed for this, right? But absolutely awesome kill. I love I love it, dude. I love it. I love to see the Hollow Smiths. Uh, that, were there two Power Chronos in there as well? Did I see two uh, Power Chronos? I think I only oh, saw one, actually. I think I only saw one. Composition oh, for that team was two Chronos, one Soul Beast, Chronos. three Holosmith, one Dragon Hunter, one Alacrity Renegade, one Boon Daredevil, and a Power Berserker with axes. Nice. So a bit, a bit of a mixed match. We have about, we have a good representation of all the classes. Actually, it's pretty cool. Very nice, and we got a very good time. I mean, one minute forty. That's a good time. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what my static that's does. That's something yeah. you see in a pub with a healer. 
Yeah. I, I wonder what the time would have been if Ender's Echo had actually been present alongside Ice Physics, right? That is, yeah. That maybe, would have certainly been quite up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, imagine doing this boss, but the statues are actually Ender's Echo, right? If, you, if they get to the site, they turn into Ender's Echo. Mm, yeah. Would be there interesting. We there we go. Good, good CM now for Masada was here. <laughs> Pay me arena net. Jesus, dear lord. Just hire, right. hire this guy. So, moving upwards from there, we have Commanders at the seventh position. Uh, we have actually a video submitted by Evo Kron, uh, who we cited earlier as being one of the organizers behind the Raiding League, behind the website. He is sort of the community manager, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, should we doing a lot of work. Yeah, doing a lot of work. Uh, we should absolutely watch the the POV. Yeah. Uh, so the seventh place is Kimendas with a 121. So we 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 are having already stepping into the the speedrun um, times right there. 121 yeah, is actually quite a, very impressive. It's already 20 seconds up from the last time. Very impressive. Very good stuff. And of course, we see a, a boon daredevil here, because of course, you can steal the ectoplasm from Masada over here, and you constantly, you, in, in speedruns, you always see this abused heart. People precast the, the living hell out of these ectoplasms, right? Because what you can, of course, do is you can steal the ectoplasm um, on... Actually, no, that's not even done anymore. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That's different. That's a different thing I was talking about. People used to do that. But no, you can, of course, you can steal the Ectoplasm and cover most of your boon needs with this, right? And you, uh, we see them not run a single Chronomancer because they have the Ectoplasm, right? And I mean, feel free to, to, to roll the video, by the way. You don't have to wait for me to finish. Yeah, I mean, I was just waiting for you to do the intro, like the, the introduction, because this video, unlike the previous one, does not have a beginning segment. We're going right in with the kill. So now that you've given all of the explanations, we can have a look at it. And of course, everything that includes precasts will be automatically tougher to do in the um, in the frame of this competition, Two, right? Because um, you only have one hour to get your kill. That's the rule. You must get your kill within that hour of grind. And if you have precasts that take up too much time, well, you may just lose an entire attempt on the boss itself, right? So um, Definitely. that is another thing to keep in mind on the topic of precasts there. But then again, doing Merced Overseer means that you have very short kill times, giving you way more, way more opportunities, actually, to get a good kill time. Like, if this was, let's say, a Doom CM, they wouldn't have that many opportunities to grind the numbers. Yeah, but on that the other hand, yeah. um, being it very short, um, very short to counter, you actually will GG before killing it many, many times. And a lot of the teams actually submitted a single log. They did not go for a single kill before to just assure them a time. And also keep in mind that it's like two minutes of precast. So in the end, it's like a three minutes, four minutes encounter if you take it from beginning to end. So, and isn't it amazing to see a boss that had, takes longer to precast on than to yeah. actually kill it? Yeah. It's mm. like fractals, but in rates. Yeah. I mean, this is actually, as I said earlier, a punching ball of a boss. This is a very good way to, you know, just work onto your DPS rotations. It's almost like uh, an in game golem. All right, I'm good. You know? And you see, of course, the excellent use of the protection buff there, right? Right. They just they don't even bother killing the statues. They just let them all run through. They use the protect just as they arrive back in, because that's, of course, when you would be taking damage. Um, mm -hmm. So absolutely well done. Good kill. Very nice. Very nice. Our, Abusing the our power guild, of Soul Beast. Our guild nearly disbanded on the precasts we hear <laughs> from uh, Arya's team leader. So There you go. Yep. See, that's well, the last time that I did that. A bit. Like, I remember guilds, uh, you know, raging mid encounter, you know, someone fucking up their rotation and be like, okay, guys, I'm GGing right now. We're stopping this. Except this you is... have two minutes of precast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, you spend so much time working on the precast, you can't just afford to say, yo, guys, I, I ditch my rotation. You just I remember it and get a good time. I remember the days when we did speed kills of this, and we you, you'd have like what I think it was Daredevil or or Dead Eye times, and everybody would relog, you know, change their trade to Call Thief, get their trade so that you get the double steal, pre steal, 
everybody re a GG, right? And go back in and, and and swap back on your like seven thieves just so you can like spam all these activisms. Yep. It's a Sounds good time. Amazing. Loving it. Amazing. Absolutely loving these kind of boss fights. Well, that's um, each time you, you kind of have a bit more respect when you understand that when you see um, a 17 record, DP record, MC record, or Snow Cruise or Ellen, you, you just understand how much time and effort that they put into it. It's very, very impressive because when you see the, the kill, it's just like, yeah, they do, they do Mossad in a minute. Um, okay, sure. But behind the scenes, those guys are putting the hours. There's a lot of min-maxing going on in these runs, right, always. I mean, clearly, we're not seeing a lot of support classes here. We're not seeing a lot of, um, you know, where most pucks would maybe bring a druid or something for mind. These things are, tend to then be covered through other creative ways, right, or other um, abusive ways, I'd almost call them, right? I mean, um, especially given the fact that this is a no-healer run, like, you can't just afford to, you know, stack all of the supporting effort onto one class, which is something that is... Often done when you look at a pug, you know, they're just going to say, okay, we're going to take one druid or, or one alacran or one uh, healing uh, firebrand. You know, they just want to wanna stack all of the supporting effort onto one class. And here you don't have that opportunity. So everyone has to bring in something. Obviously, some classes being in there for the best DPS, which is what we will see among the winners of the competition. The comps are very, very similar, not to say exactly similar, but... You know, right. right let's, now, you know what, let's, let's run through the videos while we're talking. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, sure. let's so, keep the videos to... running. Exactly. I wanted so to ask you guys, Zo, Rocker, which POV should we watch? We've got Power Berserker or Power Dragon Hunter. I'm kind of leaning towards the Dragon Hunter. Yeah, I'm let's show the Dragon Hunter. You know, who knows how many that's, times we've uh, seen the Dragon Hunter you know, in this like I, I, I think that's a type. A that's a typo, it. actually. I'm pretty sure that's a typo on my end. Uh, I don't think there was too power. Uh, a berserk, it's probably a copy paste uh, mi mistake right there. That's huh. probably all right. Anyways, let's have a look at it. We're doing it. And this is uh, uh, Codecus Ministry with yes. the sixth play in silver with 117. A very immersive name, by the way, and a logo that showcases my absolute favorite skin in the entire game. All right, the Codecus mask. Beautiful. Yeah beautiful yeah we and see a lot of uh, very little green in this combo i'd say still right we're yeah. still seeing a lot of classes a lot of groups running with chronos and dragon hunters rather than the um of course the fables these, so. these are quite strong power classes uh also i would i would say that dragon hunter is one of the easier rotations to work on maybe they wanted to keep uh, the smallest uh, window of error possible in order to get a good run because once you've got the, the precast going on, once you've got all the boons covered, it's down to whether or not you can actually manage to keep your rotation up, keep the damage up throughout that minute something of encounter. And so, of course, when you you know when you're not 100% dedicated to speed killing, right? When you're not when you know when you're doing this as a as a way to to see how you compete, and and rather than making your entire gameplay all about this, right? Then maybe players just don't have classes, right? Maybe players just don't play a lot of solbies, or just you know just rather play what you're good and comfortable on. Um, that you don't have it whatsoever. That also is a possibility. I know yeah. a couple of players that didn't have the the builds ready at all. So. I've seen people run in, uh, in, in in tournaments, right? Running Soul Beasts instead of Mirages or Scourges mm -hmm. instead of Mirages, just for the simple fact that they're more comfortable on these classes and yep. uh, able to get more performance out of them. So and, um, and the DH the DH allows for like it's not it's actually a pretty good class because you have a virtuous DH which scales off the boons and thanks to the Daredevil we can have all the boons in the game. So big damage increase and you have also the slow up time. You have a great uptime on Aegis, and you Very have true. Um, the Dragon Hunter's Elite, um, the the signet, the passive signet that shares some healing that makes the fight a little bit easier as well. It is a good overall class, right? You 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 bring some healing in case you need it, and as uh, Chad absolutely correctly points out, is when you just have a few power chronos, you need that slow uptime on the boss, right? And getting that through the traps is actually a very good and creative way to to get that uptime for the chrono so that they can keep their modifiers. That's uh, a very well done kill, and I mean it's rewarded with a great time. One seventeen. Um, very impressive. Very very, very impressive. nice. You love to see it. You just you love, love to, see, to it. see it. All right, let's move on to the... Yeah, actually, uh, 
Next up is Ice. You know, Ice yep. with the... The French. Yeah. Actually. They are there in fifth the place. And... You know, always, always close to the podium. And I like that. You know, we... French people got to stick together. Um, <laughs> and... Actually, there was a And you can event. see, um, cool. actually, uh, I think this is a team that we have to keep an eye on because each month they go closer and closer to that top, top three. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if we, we saw them rising even further next month. Oh, I'd love to see that so much. You know, that this is what I really love about these long-term tournament formats. It's like when you see people rise through the ranks, you know, starting in low silver, getting to high silver, you know, making their way towards gold. You love to because, see it. Uh, yeah, like, they have a the time of one sixteen, and yeah, this is no joke. And actually, no joke. we have a specific request uh, on that matter. We're going to watch Arcadia's POV that was requested in the chat, so I'm going to force it upon you guys. Uh, hopefully, it's not because let's... of the meme music, but of the quality of the POV instead. That's probably going to be a meme, but just let's get, let's get, uh, let's yeah, get let's it get rolling. Let's get started with that. And let's go. So, Alliance the Dacrima with 116. Definitely. And here's the log in chat for whoever's interested. I am posting well, all of the logs. That is a beautiful intro. That, geez, that is... Yes, that was a wonderful intro. Damn, son. This is, um, is Kalidor himself that made it. And nice. quite impressive, I have to say. Um, I'm just going to reduce the volume a little bit so that we can actually enjoy hearing each other out. A team made and... mostly of Dragon Hunters with a Soul Beast bringing the Frost Spirit and the water spirit, so covering both the uh, the healing and the buffing of the team, so oh, and the DPS as it seems. Look at look, he's popping off right there. Uh, pretty That's solid, a... and he asks for it. spotter, yet brings it. What a wonderful soul beast! That's that's great. That's a team player right there. That is a team player right there. And taking um, that top spot with that superior one, inter person. one very interesting thing with uh, the Ice team is they all submitted this, uh, their video on the same YouTube channel on the Ice Guild YouTube oh. channel. Okay, so, so they uh, actually have a guild. Actually, actually very impressive. Um, and I'm really looking forward to what they do next because uh, this looks like a proper um, tryhard guild in the PvP. making. Yeah, this is the commitment. To, this is the commitment to being uh, all about this. Amazing! I love well, to see. What I would like to to point out is that they are running without the chrono here as well. No, no power chrono. There is nothing brought in to cover the boons beyond the daredevil and the alacran. So a very yep. solid comp. Only dragon hunters because dragon hunters is nice. True. But uh, it's blue, you know, it's, so it's great. It's <laughs> Jesus, yeah, but like really an impressive kill. Like they they split away from what we've seen previously. They achieved a good time. They are on the fifth position. So kudos to them. And uh, as you all said, a very uh, very well made POV. Like there was the timer on the bottom. Uh, there was the very cool intro. They look like they are in here to win, and I like that. It. Looks like that looks like they're going for gold in the making. Yeah, they're, they're going, going for gold. There's a yep. future gold team right here, guys. Just calling it now. Yeah. All right. We can go up to the leaderboard now, and we have Pact Aspiring Brotherhood, who is coming with a 1 minute and 13 second Mursa Overseer. And, and finally, a Soul Beast be, yeah, And they're going to be. Wanting for it. They're just, they're just going to be taking a little bit of both. They're just going to take a little bit of Dragon and a little bit of Soul Beast and just mix it up. And uh, coming out with some very interesting things. And we just Obviously saw this. on the main POV, we saw a, um, a nice precast of Torch, I think. Yeah, and that was actually a precast of Torch indeed. Oh, that was actually was not just a precast. precast. This is, oh, he's playing precast. proper, um, he's playing the proper. Is this, isn't this the hybrid Soul Beast build? Is this the like, yeah. hybrid Soul Beast? I mean, I'm this not is, uh... that well versed into uh, the current Soul Beast builds, but really, I mean, this this kind of made me feel weird at the start, but it looks very good. He's pulling in the numbers, really working his class off. I love this build. I love this build. This is I'm blown away with. This is probably the one of the very few examples of a proper Condi slash DPS uh, hybrid build. You don't see this very much, right? But have you, uh, have you tried grieving? And yes, they did. Yes, they did. 
they actually tried grieving. So, props. <gasps> Matt, I props love it. You. I love it. Actually, some old guildies of mine used to use the theory craft on this as well. I think because you see, I've I've and... seen this build around. It's very nice, very cool. But of course, we see mostly Dragon Hunter still, right? We still see the the blue on the DPS meter a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Strong contender for one of the top classes for this competition this month so far. And uh, yeah. interestingly, we can note that actually no Soul Beast is running the same build. <laughs> we have three different Soul Beasts. All three are running different stuff. There's a full Condi Soul Beast, an hybrid Soul Beast, and a power Soul Beast with Great Sword. So really bring it, bringing it with um, the diversity. And they got, they got the 113, so it works. It just works. You guys have to try it in... Um, just have to try it in, uh, in Pugs. Just too good. Great girl. And uh, uh, the chat actually pointed this out. That's right. Leda has been talking about this build a lot. So if anybody has questions about it, of course, hit up Jaffa's YouTube right there. Go watch the POV. But you have another pro right there in chat to maybe answer questions if you want to mm -hmm. inform yourself on certain builds, right? And you should inform uh, yourself because as we saw on that POV, uh, we had all three versions of the Soul Beast, the, the Power, the Condi, and the Hybrid. And the Hybrid actually was on top. So if you want to up your game, ask a letter in the chat. Uh, and you know what I really love to see is that um, even though I think we'll probably see the comms starting to get a little bit more one-sided, um, all of these submissions have shown how versatile you can be with your comps, how many how many different setups you can actually run and still get a good time, okay? Maybe you don't get the world record, but you are within, like this team has been within five seconds of the third place, right? Who is already running a maybe more favorable comp even. Um, yep. and, and, and that with running hybrid soul beasts, right? How amazing is that? How, how fucking amazing is that, that you can run these builds and still have very competitive times, so... Um, Guys, don't just think you only have to play the one meta class, right? That's very, that is false information in Guild Wars 2. That is yeah. actual false info in Guild Wars 2. You get very good times on just about anything as we have shown so far. Yep. And uh, now, I, would add, uh, I would even add that I would even add that the skill, your your personal skill, is even a um, more important metric than the class you're playing. So if you if you're really good at Mirage, even if it's not top tier on the boss. Uh, you you can definitely bring it, and uh, I'll DPS some of the players that play meta classes but are not really used to it. I love the commander's motto there in chat. Slave to the memes, not to the meta. It's very good. Wholeheartedly. Good one, yes. uh, All right. Also, I just so we can to move to, to answer yep. the chat What's up, Sam? On, the, on the music uh, in the POVs. As you saw, the first one was very loud. The others, not so much. It's really hard to balance. So I'm just going to say what I said. In the previous uh, rating league, again, uh, POVs have music that is copyrighted. The louder it is, the more chances it's going to get muted when this gets put on YouTube. So yep. just a reminder, if you don't hear the music, maybe you'll get to hear the commentary once it's re-uploaded. Anyways, we move to the POVs from area, from food, actually. Why was I talking about that? <laughs> Number three. Yes, I don't know, my eyes are, uh, I, I are think, playing uh... games for me, and we only have <laughs> one POV, the Alacrity Renegade, whom we're gonna watch right now. And so we have Will Raid for food, who is bringing uh, one minute and ten second. And, and a beautiful logo. logo. Oh, and I love it. It's, logo. it's really unsettling. <laughs> really, really unsettling. Beautiful. All right, let's watch it. And uh, I think we have uh, the curse of the green class again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look at these look precasts. At those look at all of these. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my that God, was a bit look crazy. At <laughs> look at these circles on the ground. Oh, beautiful. You love to see it. Yeah. And of course, the we, we see the electro uh, electrogate here. Electricity renegade sharing those boons. Yep. Um, it's still holding us ground in DPS though, right? Still, still there's there's actually know. two renegades. There's two renegades, Rocker. And one one is a power renegade Man, with yeah, alacrity, and the other one is a pure just... pure condi. I'm just curious. Okay. I mean, probably, probably they found it a better way to maintain uh, a hundred percent alacrity on everybody to have both of these. I mean, they must yeah. have made a choice that was relevant to DPS because otherwise they could have just slapped an extra soul beast. Look at the soul beast damage. Just look at it. Popping off. 
Pop it off. And just, of course, you see the big uptime on um, the Kala Elite, and I, um, I don't believe that a, a full Condi one can actually keep uh, large amounts of uptime, and this, of course, yeah. saves you Scholar buff, it gives you uh, sustain, and a no-heal comp, of course. Um, actually, people, before the um, whole competition started, people were suggesting that a lot of people will be running these Renegades for that color lead, because it does give you extra damage, it does give you the extra sustain, so... Um, and you have the Lacrity on top of it, it's like very well-rounded class that gives a lot of team utility. And, of course, the AP spread, yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. that is also value, so... Hmm, great that is decision to there. Very yeah, nice, uh, 110. Yep. Very competitive time, and a very so well we earned rank 3. So moving on from the ranks 3, we actually are going to be revealing the top 1, because both teams have achieved the same time. And uh -huh. so we have both Wipe and Lonely Raiders in your area with 106, and actually very different compositions. So we're going to first watch the wipe kill, and then you will move on wipe, with the raiders in your area. And uh, wipe actually goes with the chrono comp. And we... look at this! Look at this red icon. What is this? Are my eyes deceiving me? I, I don't know what's this icon. Yeah. Or maybe I... you were looking at another oh. icon. Oh. I don't. I don't think so... I remember what this <laughs> is. <laughs> No, I didn't mean the panties. Yeah, the panties are great as well. Now, when we see what's all, uh, immediately drawing your attention this here, is what's right drawing now. your attention right there. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the. I was looking at the. Um, at the what renegade. Yeah. yeah. All right, we can. We should. We should give it a go. And uh, Harold, uh, sorry. Yeah. Have... So, yeah, like the Boon Herald. Actually, let's watch his POV. That Boon Herald. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So I let's love to see it. A look at it. Oh, beautiful. Interesting. Yes. Jeez. The very interesting thing about Herald is you actually don't have to build a lot of boon duration. You can have all the benefits of the class that spreads all of the boons and might and all the things, and still have um, very damaging gear and very competitive damage. So you can see him uh, precasting some renegade stuff because um, this is a precast city, as we all know. <laughs> yep. And then, yep. there you go. It's it's the Herald. It's there. I mean, what Ooh. I really like about this team is that pretty much uh, the, the green and the pink have been swapped. You know, like the color palettes have been swapped. We're seeing a pure Power Chrono Fiesta right here. With a, a touch of green. And of course, Herald allows you, it, it fills you so many boons, right? It allows you to run such an offensive DPS comp with so little supports, right? If you, yeah. Because you, you have all the DPS, but you still pump out a very significant amount of might, of fury, uh, of, of swiftness and, uh, and, and region here as well. Um, well they, even a bit yeah. of protection. It's just, it's just a really nice complementary combo. I've even heard some people recently call it kind of a sleeper OP class at the moment. Right? It is, it is. Um, it's, it's definitely very, um, very underrated and very powerful. And you can see they actually entirely removed the Boon Daredevil for it because they are not using a class that um, scales off Boons. So they can actually go for a better class that's Herald. And so they're of course they're using they're abusing the Chrono stack. And this, if if you guys are at all familiar with the speedrun scene of this game, right, you'll know that the Chrono stack is a bit of a meme nowadays, right? Because it tends to demolish records. It has this inherent ability of demolishing records in the speedrun scene. So um, seeing a Chrono stack here, uh, I didn't personally uh, expect it, but it's 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 beautiful, right? Like all those clones crashing yeah. everybody who didn't put sure, down there. Just, just makes bit. everyone's PC run at 10 FPS for a little yeah. while, but that's that's part of the fun, right? I would have kind of expected it to be fair, because knowing that you wouldn't bring a dedicated healer on whom you could stack also some some boon some boons like for the team, bringing classes that can offer boons all the while pushing out amazing DPS made entire sense to me. It's all about replacing the supports, right? If you wanna, the, the more you can replace your low DPS support classes with DPS classes that cover a little bit of boon, uh, of, of the important boons, you, you, you're almost always gonna come out on top, right? If you do it well. Yeah. So this is an and, absolute um, perfect example of such a comp. But we can see Kronos have taken the 106, but I'm, I'm seeing no purple class on this, uh, on this other kill. Yeah. So, yeah. Huh. They decided to just uh, stick all of these soul beasts together, you know, and just if you if so you this more DPS, together strong. Of course, you do better, you know. Like so, where before you saw, 
Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Though. I've been uh, I, I just well, I just was about to meme about the soul beasts together strongly. <laughs> they they share, they all share together their one wolf pack, and um, you basically have a permanent uptime of it. In the but end, but it requires a lot of organization to get that on properly. So I guess we can you know celebrate the fact that this team probably had amazing communication, amazing timing in order to get number one execro with wipe. And again, it's so beautiful to see just the differences in comms, right? Um, you have one comp that like brings DPS classes that all cover a certain boon in order to cut out that boon, um, uh, that boon class, right? That um, because they didn't want to bring that daredevil and rather cover all of the boons through other classes. Uh, and now we see a, cl a comp that, of course, will do the exact opposite. They'll bring one class to cover all of the boons, except Electric, of course, but uh, and then just have these DPS powerhouse soul beasts, right? So. Um, I'm very excited to see. Uh, I'm very excited to see that both of these comps, both of these very different approaches, manage to get the same time, and that's yep. uh, you, you love to see it. Dude. The class variety in this game is just un, unparalleled in the MMO uh, scene. Definitely it's... true. All right, Sam, right. so, um, you can yeah, fire up the POV. We're gonna watch Taryn, you know, as as we shouted him out earlier for being the one who worked on the website. You know, let's just let's just watch the fact that he is as skilled in the game as he is. On website making, and way, we have to show later, yeah. right? We have to show. We have to show people later. A little bit. Definitely. Okay, let's reduce All right, the volume so just a wee bit. Lonely raiders right. in your area with the one o six soul beast comp with a lot of sharing. And uh, they're going to be having a cast of uh, the longbow five. You know, that's what I was Absolutely. looking at right there. It's a disgusting Ooh. amount of precast, but all of these circles on the ground. Comp. Yep. But it's also okay. the traps, you know, look at all them traps on the ground yeah. waiting to be triggered when they are going to need the healing. This is beautiful. Yeah. Everything is set, you know, like they just have to walk as one man or, or as we should say, as one pack. Oh, I really that's, wanted that's to do good. that. That's very good. Very How good. long did you prepare that one, Sam? 10 seconds. I had to. Ah, uh, you're, you're <laughs> such a gamer. All right, but we can <laughs> see there's actually a little bit of a mistake here. Um, if you look at the health bars, I think they are losing on a lot of scholar, actually. Yeah, and also the the might actually dropped, I think, for a few seconds there. Oh. Yeah, like it uh, it went down to to like ten stacks and then came right back up. I would actually like to say, I wonder how many people have run scholar, or how many people immediately just opted into different rooms when they saw the rules. I mean, you can get, I think, a decent scholar uptime on this boss just by the means of Renegade. And I don't think it's been a terrible issue. Maybe like one or two of the soul beasts looks like they may have actually been below the health threshold, but um, yeah. they still have been below it uh, quite a few times. Like just watching this main POV, you could see him dropping below the 90%. But that that kind of that kind of makes you makes you wonder how did the gold leak though leak do? Um, <laughs> if if the top silver does a one o six, what what are we gonna be seeing in gold? I'm I'm really wondering now. I am that curious as well. Excellent question. Um, and um, of course we are we are approaching like record times too, right? Like the uh, the mm -hmm. times are getting very fast here. Yeah. Uh, I I'm actually going to quickly look up what the the record on this nowadays is. It is. It is below a minute for sure, but it I'm is not... on fifty-seven seconds, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the current speedrun record by DP. Somebody and, correct um, me. I j I just have to point out that the like getting a second of this fight is incredibly hard. The more the more you go down in the time, the more difficult it is. So yes, um, we're gonna see some very very incredible times. Uh, in the gold tier, and we've already seen the 106 in top silver. This is just incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, 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 you're exactly right. It's one of these bosses that every second is just worth so much, uh, as is, by the way, um, very smartly incorporated into the new point rule system that decides the leaderboards. Um, that if you guys haven't read up of it, that rather recently changed, I would say, not, not that long ago. Um, so that might be worth checking out if if you haven't been following quite as as up to date. But yeah, these bosses uh, where an, a single second counts so much. Um, That's true. They have had their ruling a little bit slightly adjusted to take that into account. And yeah, yeah, I would say go for it. Let's go for the, 
non-linear non points means each of the seconds you shave off is actually more and more important and uh, the teams have to strive to get the very best time they can to grab as many points as possible. Exactly. But again, this is this is a bit of a meme month, so there's no points about it. It's kind of a kind of a fun month. But when you look at the time, I don't think those teams really had fun. What do you think? I'm pretty sure they had fun working out how to get the best time, you know, working out which comp was going to bring them the most successful attempts and also the most um, like the most recurringly successful attempts because you don't want to have one very good try and then a bunch of horrible tries you want to make sure the tries are good and consistently good uh, so i'm pretty sure they had fun figuring out how to do it and then it was hell to actually get the practice in because as yeah. you said earlier every second counts we've seen timers that were very close to each other i mean we have first ex equos. that means that a lot of effort went into making sure that their comp would get them that time very uh, consistently, sir. So. I'm just going to say, of course, this wasn't probably the boss everybody wished to do under this rule set, okay? But I, I would still argue, I'm just going to throw out there, would you have enjoyed doing normal Masada of here in your clear on a Monday night? Would you have rather stood AFK in Aerodrome? Or would you have rather challenged yourself, okay, to come up with the best comp, comparing your times to some of the best teams in the game, okay? I think the answer is very simple, okay? Yeah. So and would I believe it, would people have, have fun. I hope people if, have if fun. If you were to draw Kadim, would it been like it was fun on paper, but would it would have it been so much fun? Like, yeah, I, I I'm not really sure. Masad finally, um, when you look at look back at it, it's not not a terrible boss for this challenge. You get and you get. We to actually, have a little bit of an extra meme at the end of the day, right? Like that we may show a little I bit later. I think we do actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, yeah, um, yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, do. Right just talked about. Let's, uh, but first, let's actually go into the gold knee because we have an achievement. Yeah, let's. There, you know? we, we so, have in, we, have, sure. we have had five su uh, submissions for, for the, the gold, gold league. league. And at the bottom, we have Yep Tentis, which is a rename of uh, Zeb, please stream again. And we can actually start the POV now and yes, reveal their exactly. time. They have, they have gotten a 105. And this is the only team that before coming into this, I knew their time. And I'm a little, I'm very stunned to see them at the very bottom of Gold League. That means yeah. there must be some incredibly strong teams out there to have done uh, some really outstanding, outstanding runs. That is very strong. And I think uh, Lin is asking for, uh, for his POV to be, for his his POV to be shown. To, um... I mean, <laughs> right. not listening to music, like otherwise, I'd recommend Linka's POV obviously but I think we and should let's actually watch Linka's because yeah. Lin Lin is really suffering in the in the chat. What what I also want to, to say is that as you said you knew their time before coming in. You thought it would be one of the top times in, in the gold league. Already we could see the top of the silver league playing toe to toe with the gold league. You know, a one second difference. As we said at the start of this stream players are progressing you know they're doing better and better each time and people who eventually start in the silver league and work their way up as the alliance de dragemar is doing for instance could eventually move up into the gold tier you know they can compete at the top level they can win even at the top level if they put the effort into it and this is what is great about the rating league you know you're not stuck into a position you're stuck into a league you can and i'm i'm forced, I'm forced in my position as shoutcaster of, of the event today to point out that there has been there has been a little bit of a rivalry between two groups okay there's been a bit of a rivalry between the the group yep and area okay who have been back and forth throwing the most amazing flames at each other absolute perfect spice and uh, i i have to say this is this is the second time this is the second time area that that yep has beaten you i think area is not ready I'm not sure to, what to say, what to think about this, Tareem. Two times in a row? I, I'm hoping yeah, for, some, yeah. for some vengeance in the next month's competition, okay? Yeah. Next month's but competition. But you know, uh, next month is going to be a regular, uh, regular proper yeah. Raiding League month, so you're going to have all the rosters back together. There's going to be all the energy, so uh, I, I, would be, I would be a little worried if I was um, in Yep Tenti's team. Uh, 
uh, I think area with their gold promotion because that's going to be happening also next month. They have um, they have stuff that they're going to do to tent these. I would be worried, Rocker. This is why I'm pulling out of yep. Yeah, as I just threw out this final flame, this is why I'm, I'm done and let them I let them deal with the consequences. Easy. All right, uh, let's so let's move on and flames. watch the POV. Uh, fanning the flames. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fanning the okay, flames. Of let's there we go. let's watch that yep POV. And also, I want to point out that the um, the core elementalist that's listed is actually just a mistake on my end. They. Unfortunately, unfortunately, did not bring a core elementalist. Oh, that would have been fired at a core elementalist. Up oh, that would have been beautiful. Go. And oh I God, hope you guys. Music. I hope you guys enjoy uh, green classes because we're going to see a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a, an almost full Solbis run, and I love this. Okay, actually, I thought I was initial D music. That's Gachi Mochi. <laughs> All right, I heard high it. quality music for high quality music. Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. Traps all the circles on the ground, yeah, getting tricked as the boss starts. Once Beautiful. Again, once again, you know they're just using them to get the healing when they need it. It's really well done. But this is only just one second faster than the area, so um... yeah, yeah. There's not. Down to individual but, rotation, I guess. Yeah, probably. Maybe really a little bit more scholar. I mean, that is that is what I'm looking at right now. Like they're staying into that ninety percent range. I think they only dropped out once of it, like twice right now. The the fourteen thousand ish was out of the ninety percent range. And you I mean, can see when now very very good. You know, like they're staying above that sixteen k, which is the range. And we're approaching the, this, the kill time where uh, Masad Overseer will in fact die before the statues make it to the team, saving you yep. most of the sustain that you need, which really comes in handy when you have a comp where you aren't allowed to run any healing, right? If you look at it, like they just barely arrive on that last percent, which allows them to run an incredibly offensive comps, right? So, mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah, I mean. And, uh, but the thing is, this is only the fifth place. Yeah, like and, I mean, are you are you guys ready? Please. I don't think you guys are ready. What kind of times are we in for here? Like, what kind of times yeah. are you going to bring to beat this? So as we, and, as it has with number four. Okay, go on. And we oh, are sorry. eight seconds away from world record, right? And I wanted to add, as it was said in the chat earlier, the world record was from back when Soul Beast was not nerfed. All the Soul Beasts had fifty extra stat points. You know. And that makes a huge difference, you know, like, uh, I don't know if you're right, but one stack of might is, if I'm not mistaken, 35 power, 35 condition damage. Uh, um, yeah, 50, it's 30, I think. Thir okay, it got changed to 30, but 50 points on a stat is most equal, it's, it's almost two stacks of might, right? That is a huge difference on a kill time. So if we get a team close, yeah, if, if we get a team close to the record run time, we could almost say that they are the record run. You know, oh my god, imagine. This is crazy, right? I want to see the times. I want to go upwards. And that's what we're going to do with Cormier, which is a, uh, a, a spin off guild from the in raiding training server, you know, the Crossroads Inn. Uh, I think I have the link still somewhere in the description of the channel if you guys are curious and want to learn about raids. And they're participating pretty much every month in this competition. They're doing very well, to be fair. And today they're fourth into a five teams uh, in the gold leaderboard. So really impressive performance. You, know, you should go. Uh, if if you look at it uh, in general, they are fourth of thirteen guilds. Yeah, definitely. If you fair. take all the POVs, very good. Um, yeah, really impressive really and. Impressive. I this is where it gets you I've guys when you join a training discord like Comir, right? There you go. Crossroads and training you guys to become top participators, top ranking speedrun groups, in fact, okay? There you go. And right. uh, maybe Let's that, that will motivate it. maybe that will motivate RTI to actually make a, a guild, a, a team to challenge Comir that's uh, taking all of the credit here. That would be, that uh, would be, that would be quite interesting. Impressive. Oh, and, and I so, like that. I like and that. And so we have probably the best, the, the single best uh, logo in this whole uh, tournament. Cormier's logos and memes are unmatched by any other team. 
yeah, Hong Kong. It's also, amazing. I gotta say, yeah, Costa is great. Like he was known in the, uh, I think it was the ARP for uh, pulling a very sad slob into an untimely death. Right now, they have like achieved so much more than these original memes to get into the fourth position of the rating league leaderboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, because the the chat cover is hidden by the chat, you um, Costa actually linked the image in Twitch chat if you want to look at it. This is very worthy of your attention. Great memes, 10 yeah, out of I mean, 10. But all the POVs yes, from Call Me have some sort of memes on it, and those are, I would recommend to, to just go check them out, give them uh, give them some love. There's some very high, high energy put in those chat covers. And we can see a great sword. What is this? What here is this? And this is actually going very well for them, however. Look at the damage the Berserker is putting in. A very that is clean a, kill. That is a great sword, right? Am I... Yeah, that was a great sword. sword. Okay. It really was a great sword. A fast kill with a great sword. And, you know, Costa, true to his habits, didn't even target the boss. He already had a target ready for an eventual pull. Not the right class, not the right encounter, still ready to pull a friend. That's Costa for you. <laughs> but anyways, 104. Actually, a little bit less than 104, but rounded up. A very, very good time, especially seeing how they've been doing you know, so far. They've always consistently pulled very good times into every one of their submissions in the Raiding League. And I think we should take our hats off to that. Very good. Yeah, run. congratulations, call me. Very Bravo. impressive. Good and run. With this, you know, we're we're we actually getting to the bottom of the podium for the gold league this time around, and rank three is no other than the seventeen elites with exactly. And you won't one believe minute. the time, actually. One, one minute. minute. <laughs> this is just like, crazy. This is dope. Yeah, this is like, I, I, I just want I just want to remind everyone that um, those teams have had only an hour to grind. Like it's not not like you have unlimited practice. So this is three pu seconds pushing out bracket? pushing From out a one bracket. minute. It, it's insane. Oh, you love to see it, dude! I want to see the record beaten tonight on stream. Yeah. I want to. Nobody I wanna... is ready for the number one. I don't know the time. You know, I'm going to discover it with you guys. I'm not ready. Like. Oh, this I mean, is right. rank three, and it's one minute. Knowing that the the, the Solbys got nerfed, I would I would dare say this is my record run. You know, this would beat the previous record run. And we're actually, right. you know, gonna watch. I would say I kind of want to watch a Boon Daredevil POV. You know, I mean, we could watch a Soul right, Beast, but we have a lot of Soul Beasts. So I think we it. get a lot of chances to watch Power Soul Beast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like everything is a Power Soul Beast. So let's get in. And watch this POV. And oh so my god, the Katina minute, music! This is a one minute kill for the third place in gold by 17 elitists, featuring seven soul beasts and a daredevil. Yeah, they couldn't fit 17 soul beasts into the comp, so they went with seven. I think I think I, I, I told them that was not allowed, but they would have done it <laughs> otherwise. Oh my god. And we can see the disgusting precasts again. Um, well, they're it's just all about the just, precasts. just spending a couple of, of minutes uh, enjoying the precasts. The wind daredevil is just uh, hanging out, waiting. Like if you if you order the renegade, the warrior, or the daredevil, you're a little bit sad during the precast. But well, I mean, you get to shine yeah. later into the encounter. He is the boon supplier for the team. And that is great. And there has there has been a couple of sigils uh, precast, uh, leeching and doom sigil. Mm -hmm. This is the level of tryhard we're on. Crazy. That is it that is, is the energy I like to see. That, that yeah. is the energy I like to see. They and this is this is uh, this is third place. This is really yeah. deserved. But do I mean, you think do you think number two and number one were very far off? I I think. I think it's probably not going to be that far off, but we're still going to see a few seconds difference. And that's what I am I am expecting, you know, that's what I'm waiting for, that's what I want to see. 
Sure. And what they're doing, and this, is, this is such a beautiful detail I have to point out there, right? They use the protect not to shield them from, from spears or to shield them from the last um, clones. They use the protect just as the statue would run into the field so that they wouldn't even get that one single tick from the field. Did you guys catch that? They put down the yeah. protect so you they wouldn't avoid... even get a single tick of damage, keeping that scholar up time also. Up time, yeah. Avoiding I mean, the poison. That's part of what made the difference with the other teams. As we said earlier, the, the scholar difference, I mean, any form of power or damage modifier difference is huge on an encounter like this, which is purely targeted at the damage you can dish out. So truly amazing execution from 17 elitists. Very nice. And again, this is a this is a strat that would absolutely bite you in the ass if you were even five seconds slower, right? If you were even like Six seconds lower, you get to the point where the where the where the statues would arrive at your position, right, and 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 start wrecking you if you don't have that protect. So, um, mm -hmm. the the aggressiveness in this strat, right, is it's it's beautiful. This is a record strat executed within a one hour time frame of uh, of, yeah. of actually get it, having to get you killed, and that is incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Amazing, truly. And now and, we're gonna see. Uh, we can number move two. on. Yeah, number yeah. two is my chaotic I think, asylum with. And I think I have a little bit of a surprise because uh, you can see there's when Both you when you scroll on MTA, I think there's rank one, but yeah, it's so number two. So that means two. we have execos again. I think. Then it's time for a reveal of the other number one, DP themselves, with fifty nine seconds. If I'm not mistaken, that's the same DP as the record holders. No, no, no. That's a different uh, DP. I think that is a different. Name? It's a very common. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too many DPs. Too <laughs> many DPs. Yeah. That's yeah. That, that maybe sounded wrong, but you know, I'm gonna stick with it. All right. Yeah, are Eagles, and so we like have this. two POVs with the exact same time and the exact same comp. So um, we're gonna be Wait. on and watch. I mean, yeah, the exact POV same time, from exact same MCA. Jesus. And you were actually very wrong. There's no, there's no chrono in there. It's just. So I actually had to go look up if this is the DP that holds the record or not. <laughs> because I'm just, I wasn't sure anymore. Okay, but yeah, yeah no. You, you should actually check it out because that that would be kind of. Yeah, no, this is this is the not the same DP. By the NA guild this session, which is currently holding really the majority of speedrun records out there. They are doing uh, insane uh, records at the moment. They are just pushing all the bosses with the chronos and. All the new comps and just just smashing the bosses. I, they they have no competitions. Seems like. But here we go. Actually, yeah, we, old, let's, go for let's, it. Watch a, uh, let's watch a Sobeys POV again, right? It's a little slip up there. I apologize to MCA that we haven't uh, used their new logo on this page yet, but um, we will of course correct that later. Just before you guys so you know, call it out. Let's go with it. And so one, uh, sorry, there's no minute. Only 59 seconds, my apologies, for MCA with a 7 Soul Beast comp and the usual Daredevil, Herald, uh, sorry, Renegade and Warrior Berserker. Yeah. I mean, the boons are covered, the Soul Beasts are going ham. This is really impressive because, as we, as we said earlier, it is down to individual performance at this point. We saw earlier uh, in the, uh, the one minute run from 17 Elitist a very clever use of the shield. And right there, I'm just expecting players to be just, just that, that little extra DPS that comes from it. <laughs> they're, actually, they're actually abusing heel swapping to get yeah. their. Oh my yeah. god. I mean, to see try hard. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is what I would expect from the <laughs> gold raiding league. These guys yeah, I, are I think, in um, for the win. This is amongst I think the, the chat is extremely excited. Absolutely. I think chat is extremely excited about, <laughs> <laughs> about the comps. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, this is not something that the raiding league is imposing on them. You know, they, they just figured out the best way to win, right? There you go. This is, this is how you get those absolute final little stats uh, to, mm -hmm. to, to get that amazing time, right? I mean, it's, it's paying off. This is the second that made them faster than third place. This is the one second that tied them for first place. And, 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 and of course, this is one of the few bosses where such a detail makes, I mean, such a difference, right? Because you, you really are fighting for that tiny little second. And just to grind out that last little second, 
um, you, you can go all the way for, right? Even in that one hour time frame that you have for it. So, yeah. And uh, doing the exact same, actually, he is uh, digging even deeper with yeah. the same comp, the same strat, and the same time. Because so the beautiful mad props still digging in a hole. Yeah. So. Yeah, it is. It is a reference to like the first ERP, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, it is. It is a very. I good think that was cleared up, and this is not exactly the same thing. Uh, I should have done my research, but. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a anyway. reference to it. But yeah. Anyways, let's watch the POV of the other number one execro. And so this is digging even deeper, DP with 59 seconds. And again, seven soul beasts, one renegade, one daredevil, and a par berserker. And you can see, um, you can see all the precasts again. Yeah, I'm and... seeing a couple of circles <laughs> on the ground. I mean, imagine not precasting at this point. Imagine not pushing the top of one run without precasting at this point. Yeah, if they didn't precast, that would be like a, a major power move, I would say. But just <laughs> looking at the other teams in the eyes and be like, we're the ones who didn't precast. Oh well. But then again, they wouldn't be no. much higher in the leaderboards. So. But they are not. They they are. Are they not using the field food, or are they, have, have they just not used it yet? Um, I, I think that just... they are. They aren't using it. No, they're not. At using least it. this this very POV isn't using it. Maybe all of us are. Um, maybe using it. And so yeah, I guess well, you can get, you know, it's not all about the swap, but you can still get a, a, the same time, it appears. Unless the other groups have, have people in the group have used it, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but really, guys, guys, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to see, uh, you know, I don't want to see uh, BM in chat, okay? Like people, if you, if you are, if you're going for the try hard speed runs, right, then, I mean, that's just, that's just something you can do. It's a, an option the game gives you. And so far, and this may change, right? Uh, there are people in the speedrun scene that do talk about these kind of rules. And as far as I know, there is no rule against this, using heal food. At this, this is point. absolutely so, allowed. This raises yeah. the skill ceiling even more, exactly. and this, this is, is just more APM. As the part of as 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 part of this particular competition in this month, using heal food was allowed. It was not something that has been outlawed. So um, just because, uh, you know, we see the comments, you, you always see these type of comments in chat, but this it was a legal threat. This wasn't some kind of unrestricted meme. This was a perfectly viable uh, thing they did that every team was allowed to do. So, yeah. And, the, and so that wraps up the August meme run of no healing food. Um, no, not no uh, healing. No, sorry, <laughs> no, no, sorry, that's that's a, that's, that's a mistake. No, no, no healing, healing sorry. stats. <laughs> that's a yeah. pretty terrible mistake. Um, and so there you go. We have our winners digging even deeper and MCA, my chaotic asylum, as number one gold. And on the silver side, we have both wipe and lonely raiders in your area with one o six. So congratulations to those teams. You did amazing, and also big shout outs to all the teams that have submitted the kill. And uh, like, there's the times are just insane. It's a, yeah, and, and I love to see that both leagues have a tied first spot. How amazing is that? Yeah, right? we it's have two. To show the effort. We have four winners. Yeah. We have four winners. Yeah. And so I'm very sad because I'm gonna have to uh, to put some more gold from my pocket into the prize pool but you know Guys, this, is, uh, this is for a worthy cause it's not too late it's, it's not, too late not too late to donations all right yeah. the, you, all you have to do is go to the to the website right now to find out what the, the name of the person is that you can right? you know that you can send those donations to right yeah there we go and of course, after this stream, guys, this page that you just witnessed live on stream will be um, published on the site as well. So everybody who is curious after the stream, if you want to show this to your friends, if you want to rewatch some of the POVs, you'll find them all on the site. The uh, site is not live yet. At least this post isn't, you know, but um, it will be after the stream. Um, and yeah, guys. Two more things to do, actually, Roka, before the final announcement. Wasn't there a meme run? A meme 
kill of another boss that we wanted to show. You are right. You are, in fact, correct. And guys, I do want you guys in chat to not don't run away just yet. Okay, we do have, I, I have, we have prepared a very special, a very special meme for you guys that I'm very excited to finally show to you. So don't, yeah, don't run off quite yet. That will. Don't it's, wait. it's been pretty. It's been pretty difficult actually to not tell anyone because this is right. This actual hype. This is something that's insane and. We're gonna just watch it after we see area. Actually, they they just said Mercedes too easy. Like it's too, it's too easy. It's silver first place. I don't know what's what's more. So they just did SH no healing because why not? And so we're and gonna watch. Of course, a boss that will like actually punish that rule so much more. Everybody was so dis. You you could see just frowning faces and chat when when Masato was here was that was drawn for the no. Right. And uh, seeing a team to just go out there and say, hey, dude, like, we're just going to do it on a boss that's actually fun with this rule, uh, where you maybe have to uh, kind of get out of the uh, regular speed run zone, right? It's very cool. Very nice to and see. You, Let's see what they come up with. Yeah, you, can, so uh, you can start the POV and we'll, yeah, we'll talk about it. Area plus Lin killing Soulless Horror without a healer. And uh, oh, I, see this? A, an, I see a nice rainbow in the RDPS. I am very pleased by the. The, the the differences in classes we can see here. Oh, true. Yeah, uh, lots of classes. Look at, look at also there's there's something I'm noticing. Look at the look at the skills on the Chronomancer POV. What is this? Oh, you see a uh, null field Ooh. to uh, cleanse all these nasty conditions away, right? Because also, of yeah, I was actually going to point out that we have two scourges. So usually you could like run only one because you want to epidemic the, um, the golem when he spawns and as you push him away. But another thing that is very interesting to, to notice here is that the use of barrier to mitigate the damage taken as well as the use of shades to cleanse conditions is a very good way to handle all the things that this encounter is pushing towards you as you have to do it without any form of healing. I mean, we, we are talking about no healing, but just look at the top left and look at the HPs of the Scourge and the Chrono. Yeah. It's, uh, hmm. There is just no hanging there. Here. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. A lot of classes that, are, like, that cover the, the no healing, right? The Scourge is with the Barrier, the, the Chrono is with the, with the Condi um, um, Cleanse. Uh, all of these sources to just you know, prevent you from taking damage. And, and you know, we, we see... Um, Wait, the elementalist, I believe, right? Isn't that? I, I would assume that that is probably one of your big. Uh, so yeah, that way, Chat actually said it. The elite elemental on Tempest, right? You have a you have a lot of like. Even though nobody is specced into healing, people are running healing focused uh, builds. Yeah, and and like running that hybrid, running that uh, DPS, but still some group support kind of setup. We do see a bunch of downstates. The no heal. Downstate. There's a couple of downstates here. I mean, yeah. Having downstates is of no issue when you have two scourges. I mean, just trade that blood magic, and you're gonna have them. You back can't. Up in you cannot. You cannot because it gives you healing power. Oh, that was also part of the rule. True, because I was just thinking, okay, they're not using healing gear, but actually any form of trait giving healing power is also better. Uh, yeah. That Absolutely. was actually my mistake. Jesus. So yeah, I mean. True group effort right there. <laughs> I was just thinking, we don't okay, they, they, can, they can cheese it. I mean, they, they can pull people away just fine. They can't, nope. right? That makes it just better. All the more amazing, right? When, what I'm a little bit disappointed about is they actually didn't run CM. But oh, well, I think, I think we, can't, we can't really have everything, right? For fuck's sake, are you guys casuals? Are you guys... <laughs> yeah, like, no, no CM? Yeah. No, no CM, CM enabled? Oh. For fuck's sake, dude. Oh, fuck's sake. Then, of course, CM does, uh, I think, actually make it easier, right? Isn't, isn't there like a factor that partially it makes does, it um, It does reduce the, um, the, the area a little bit, but it does make it a little bit easier with the walls. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, theory, to see, beautiful, beautiful to see them go for this kill. Absolutely. I, I, I mean, I would have loved, of course, to see that if this month had just been a boss like this that does actually require healing. I think a lot of people were disappointed about this. It's, you know, the rules are the rules. That's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, well, you, you know, it would probably would have been a fewer submissions because it might be funny for the high ranking teams, but I don't think it would have been funny for all the teams. There's always a pro and a con to stuff, right? So uh, let's just focus 
on the pros that we have seen and thinking this. about pros uh, i think we're, we're about to say something about um th there's a little bit of an announcement here i think i i should just let rock about, about but pros news. but in the sense of professionals I, Sam, are know. you prepared are you prepared for for the meme that we're about to unleash i am Almost as ready as a man who still needs a link from you, a YouTube link. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? I mean, I have seen it, but I need the official oh. YouTube link from my dear uh, friend Rocker, and I need to actually put it on the stream, so there's going to be a little leak of my Discord. Oh, no. Again. Don't, don't leak until I have announced, okay? Don't, don't you steal my thunder, boy, all right? Don't you steal my thunder. I wouldn't oh. dare, Rocker. I would not dare. And so I am just about... Wait for you. So we're we're starting a professional speedrun guild. Uh, the Roka is going to be main admin of the professional rating team, what? and we're going to be for only. Uh, wait, what? This is not what we discussed. No, what? this is. What, what are you talking? What? Don't you? I mean, I even you... actually made the recruitment post on Reddit. Roka, what the fuck? Are you fuck actually? Are you... are you bailing on us? Are Rocka. you double memeing me? Are you guys double Dude, memeing? What the me? fuck? Like you didn't read the chat. A bit disappointed. You didn't man. read the DM. Like the whole convo was about it for the last two days. The it's all gone. Even said yes. It's all gone over my head, guys. We we like we have we have the gaming house and we have uh, we have the sponsors already. Like you yeah, can't be back up now. Gaming house in a heartbeat. But anyway, guys, it is time to leave these memes behind us and actually go into the proper memes, guys. Because of course. Um, you know, you see some tremendous streamers on the stream right now. Obviously, we have the insane Sam Ajuste, okay? A legend in the Guild Wars 2 community, okay? One of the original dungeon speedrunners, uh, the lord of the trading post, okay? We have Zoe, who's been pulling the raiding leak out of the issues that it's been having for a few months. <laughs> and, uh, and I mean, I'm here as well. But there is more, guys. There is more, okay? The Guild Wars 2 community is in fact bigger than just the people you see on the stream today. And um, I am very pleased to announce to you guys that we, have st we are starting the official Raiding League broadcaster team. And, well, I think, ro roll the clip, Sam. Roll the... I mean, that's the yeah, link I wanted from you, my friend. You need I to send the link. You on Twitch. It's in your Twitch chat, Sam. My Twitch chat, dear lord, you really think I'm this gonna is, check that out? Okay. And this is how to kill the hype, ladies and gentlemen, oh, if you want to. Roka, just link it. <laughs> it's linked. Discord. Be a good man and link it over Discord. Uh, For the very good and I simple reason really. that I am running a two computer setup. You really think I'm gonna have the Twitch chat everywhere? All right, okay, it is linked now, guys. So let's go, guys. No more memes. Roll no the. No more memes. Roll the clip. I am gonna roll the clip in just any second. Wait, there is an. Okay, I'm just gonna this take is, the wrong um... version because I also have I a link. This, guys, this is why we're bringing in extra broadcasters. Okay, yeah. this is. I mean, if you had given me the link is... earlier, I would have been just fine, you know. But please remember, this is a professional stream. Exactly. This is done by professionals. And, um, well, I'm paying those two broadcasters very much for having this high quality on stream. All okay. right. Well, I think we're set. Okay, let's go. All right. We're going to put the music on. We're going to put everything on. You guys better be ready for this. First, tease myself. Just the tip. My name is Merit TV, and I am a confirmed brony. Gotcha. Snake of dust. Did somebody say raid tournaments? And there we go. There we have it. Oh boy. Oh boy. This Chat is uh... full silent. I am. Um... Yeah. Oh, the reactions are coming in. There we go, guys. The official Raiding League broadcasters are here. They have assembled. We are now a full squad of Raiding League broadcasters. And 
did, did you did you guys see the, the the same thing that I saw at the end yeah, of the? I, I did think you guys, I. Uh, did you I guys think I saw something? Mr. Did you teapot himself? Do you guys? Like a... Do you guys oh, actually like rating tournaments? Do people like that? What what do you what is a rating that... tournament? I've it's been so long since. Is that? Well, I mean, I don't know what it means. I'll I'll leave that to you guys. Okay, I'll leave that to the people in chat too. Okay, to to uh, to ponder about. Okay, uh, what I will say at the end of this though is um, huge credit to Noxy Green Rose in chat who has yeah. done this clip for us. Without whom, this meme would have been absolutely impossible. Okay, uh, so. Um, huge credit, go check out our YouTube. If you want to uh, go ahead and, and maybe post it in chat, even Noxy, right? You'll be able to find this video on my YouTube channel, but you'll also be able to find it on us. So go check it out. Rocket Big YouTube. Noxy channel is amazing. Right Noxy YouTube God, okay? Actually, yeah, YouTube, it could also it's be actually Noxy on YouTube, you know? Like, might as well uh, grab her out. The meme I check out all of these broadcasters. They are, of course, featured on the Guild Wars 2 Raiding League's official community website, where you can find all of their socials, all of their channel links uh, right there, okay? Go check them out, go and follow them. The, the Guild Wars 2 Raiding uh, website, just community page, yeah. let's fire it up, you know, let's show it to the people again. You can see a lot more of that in the future, and I will actually, you know, I'll make this uh, public right now, because of course I'd ha I had to keep the secret, right? I had to keep the secret for like more than a week. God, it was hard. God, it was hard to keep this video secret. Yeah. I love it so much. Uh, that was, that that was a difficult. Way. Yeah. <laughs> and and so I want to um, wrap up this month event by thanking all of the people that have been involved in the league. We've just talked about Noxie and that amazing trader. But we also have all the things that came in the background, Rock and Tarim with the website area with the with the text, Sam with the broadcasts and all the donators, Lynn, Jeraya, Plenex, Costa, Ruth, Dark Girl and uh, the money from the admins as well. This is all coming together because of the community and you guys are all awesome and without you this wouldn't be possible at all. And I want to thank every one of you for being there, supporting the league and keep playing the game because we wouldn't be there without you. So Huge shout out to all of you guys, and I sure hope we're gonna have a lot of competition next month. The final clap and chat, guys, goes to the community. Absolutely, this is such a beautiful community project. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, and I think I think that's all we came here to say today, right, guys? I, I maybe have a little a little thing to say before we shut down the stream uh, the next month's date is almost certain and it will happen from the 18th to the 26th of september so if you have uh, your schedule already you can um, set aside a couple of days to play in the league and tell your friends make a team just come compete just reap those rewards absolutely yeah it's gonna be a, a fresh new month fresh new rewards and uh, guys, you know, if you if you find it in your heart to support a poor little community project with some in-game donations, right? Find the name, send a little message, right? Uh, we appreciate the world out of it. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Unless there's anything else that needs to be said, I would say this is a good point to wrap it up. Um, of course, we will make the build link uh, uh, public as soon as the stream is over. So you'll be able to uh, find all of the POVs that we just watched together uh, up on the website. Um, and yeah. once again, I mean, you said it is time to wrap it up. Just one last word before that. Uh, as you said, you know, support the community, donate to the initiative, keep this going, talk about it elsewhere. If you're a streamer, this is an occasion to make it public like more public to get some attention towards it and also remember to support the people who are making this possible as well as the event itself you know Roca is a streamer Merrick who is in the chat right now and also part of the community of broadcaster is streaming all of these people can be supported with your prime gaming so you know just help them out the final shill the final shill as always you know 
help them out. Noxie also a streamer, you know, streams, patrons, everything. Support the people. Community efforts go a long way, and you can be part of it too. Hell yeah. I guess. All right, Mello wants I to see. Him, you know, like you no know, one wants to see us anymore. <laughs> All right. you know what? Let's run the trailer and then and then finish the stream. Let's 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 finish the stream on the trailer again. Okay, trailer again. <laughs> trailer idea. again. It is the big finale, and then just cut out, and we're gone. So have right. a good have a good evening, everyone. Good weekend, and we will see you guys in the next month for a new series of the Rating League. Have a good weekend. Let's go. If it will. Just the tip. My name is Merit TV, and I am a confirmed brony. Gotcha. Speak of dust. Did somebody say raid tournament?